Today, thanks to the efforts of a few far-sighted rail fans who set out to capture on cinefilm the everyday comings and goings, it's possible to once again relive the years when steam moved supreme. King's Cross Station in steam days stood half hidden by a clutter of cheap jack shops and sheds. These weren't finally swept away until around 1970, when the superb classical frontage, built in 1852, was at last fully displayed. A1 Pacific, number 60146, Peregrine. Six oh one two two Curlew An A three number six double oh six seven Ladders with the German style smoke deflectors fitted to this class from nineteen sixty onwards. The record breaking A four Mallard backs down with diesels evident in front and behind. Mallard was allocated to Top Shed all her working life, going for preservation at the National Railway Museum in nineteen sixty four. Corridor tender is very prominent as A4 number 60025 Falcon backs out of the station. The stock of its incoming train has been removed to the sidings, no doubt by a Type 2 diesel. Falcon, another King's Cross engine, will reverse out over the constricted set of crisscrossing tracks known as the throat, which was not cleared until 1977. Notice the 8 mile an hour speed restriction. 